Thanksgiving morning, and I was sick. And not the dainty, manageable kind of sick. I was sick. There was so much still to be done. Supplies to gather, food to prepare, and an 18-pound turkey to roast. So my dear husband decided to enlist help. If he were smart, he would have just called his mother or his sister-in-law, but no, he called his brother Paul. Now let me just say, seeing the two of them in action is what made me understand why animals eat their young. Neither of them had any real experience in the kitchen. In fact, they had about as much business preparing a holiday dinner as I did playing linebacker in the NFL. The only meal I'd ever seen my husband prepare was a bowl of cereal. And Paul, well, Paul had his own set of difficulties when it came to food prep. I'm not exactly sure what went on in the kitchen that day, but judging from the commotion, the laughter, and <laughs> one actual scream, I was pretty sure it was something I wasn't going to be thankful for. Good intentions can go a long way, but you need more than intentions to roast a turkey. On Thanksgiving, most of us stop and reflect on the tangible things we're thankful for. Our health, our family. However, on that Thanksgiving, I didn't have my health and I couldn't be with my family. I felt alone and somewhat forgotten. Then I remembered a time in the Bible when Moses felt alone. He wanted to see God to try and make sense of his circumstances. In turn, God said he would make his goodness pass right in front of him. And God's goodness was more than enough. I guess the trick is no matter what the circumstance you find yourself in on Thanksgiving or any day, is to see God's goodness and to thank him for it. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that Thanksgiving may have ended up being the best one we've ever had. Thanks to the dinner being overcooked, undercooked, and in some parts raw, our family started the first annual Thanksgiving Leftovers food fight. Sure, it's silly and, and a whole lot of fun, but this tradition has become an annual reminder to our whole family that no matter how messy our lives get, we can still be thankful for God's goodness. Mm -hmm.